Hello, um, so it's New it's Christmas Eve, rather, New Year's Eve, I'm skipping ahead, um, so yeah, it's Christmas Eve, um, and I'm doing this video for the vibes, I was gonna, supposed to do this, I think, last week, but I've been busy, um, so yeah, this is the vibes review video, um, uh, I've been using these earplugs now for a couple of weeks. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I wanted to put them through their paces so that I could give them a full, full test just to see whether they are useful in all different types of situation. Um, and there's been a lot of people in the autistic community raving about these and saying how great they are. Um, and not to be snobby, but there's a lot of things people have said, oh, these are great, they're brilliant, you know, and when I've tried it, it's not actually worked, you know. So I was sceptical about these at first. But, I'm sold on them now. Definitely sold on them. Um, so, as I said, I've been using them for a couple of weeks. Um, I've used them in different environments. Um, I used them in an environment what they, where they, uh, in which they were originally invented for, which was at events with live music. So, like, concerts um festivals stuff like that you know um uh and i i use them a couple of times at events like that and they work brilliantly um i was worried that they would distort the music and muffle it but no they didn't um it was like someone had just come along and turn the volume down on the live bands, um, much like you turn the volume down on on your CD player or your hi-fi or something, or your iPod. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a bit of a cough at the moment. But yeah, so the music wasn't distorted at all. If anything, it made the music a little clearer to me um, and a little more tolerable. Um, and the thing is with me, I love listening to music. I love going to see live bands play. Um, you know, I love that atmosphere. Um and but the problem is sometimes it can get a bit overwhelming um because it it can be difficult to focus on one thing uh when you have sensory overload issues and sensory processing disorder you got to think all the noises coming at you like most people uh neurotypical people can tune out the background noises and listen to say one person in the room who is talking to them an atypical person so someone on the autism spectrum cannot do that um we hear every conversation um that is going on in the room even conversations that are going on outside the room um we hear every noise, like glasses, glasses um, clinking around. Um, we hear every sound all at once. And we hear it like it's, it's really loud, like it's right there, you know? Um, and it's really difficult to filter it out. Now, when I'm watching a live band, because of the music is louder than everything else 
it makes it a little bit easier for me to focus in on the music because the music drowns out the humans. Um, and see, that's a good thing in a way because it makes it less overwhelming for me. But then it's not good in a way because then when my friends that I'm with are trying to talk to me, I cannot hear them properly because of the music. So it's sort of like unbalanced, mix, mixed, matched sound wavelengths. I don't know if I'm making sense here. I'm probably not. I've had a lot of cold and flu medicine, so. Um, <laughs> um, but you understand what I mean, you know? Um, but with the vibes, when I wore these, as I said, it didn't drown out the music. It didn't muffle it or distort it in any way. It made it a little bit clearer, but turned the volume down on it a bit. And then when my friends were talking to me, I could hear them over the music. And it was like it brought everything to a better sound level for me to deal with, if that makes sense, um, which was really good. Um, and I also used the vibes on public transport because that's one place I get... I can get quite overwhelmed because it gets very noisy on public transport. Um, and again, usually without the vibes, I can hear everything that is going on. Like on the bus, for instance, I can hear every conversation that is going on, even the conversations right at the back of the bus. I always sit at the front of the bus in the wheelchair bay, um, you know, and I can hear every conversation at the back of the bus. I can hear the people who have their headphones in with their music going. I can hear their music. I know what they're listening to. <laughs> um, all the kids doing what kids do, you know, being noisy. Um, baby screaming and crying you know I can hear everything that's going on on the bus and it can get quite overwhelming and usually I would put my headphones in and listen to music but I tried these out on the bus and it was brilliant um I could still hear people that were close to me like in the next seat from me I could still hear them but they were slightly turned down a little bit um, I couldn't hear the people at the back of the bus, which was really good. So it made that quieter and less overwhelming. Um, and it, it drowned out the sound of the bus engine as well, quieting that down. Um, so yeah, it was really good. Um, then out in town in the shopping centres, I used them. Again, drowned out the noise of all the people. Um, now, there's a shopping centre we go in. Uh, I struggle in there. Uh, it's called West Key, and it's a massive, like, shopping mall thing. Um, and basically, without these, when I go in there, it sounds like a loud buzzing hum. Um, constant loud buzzing hum with the amount of people in there moving around, talking. Um, there's hundreds of people in there. You know, it sounds like a beehive is going off in my head, you know, because um, it's just so, so much noise. Um, but with these, it quiet, quieted down that buzz and hum. 
because again the people that were further away from me I couldn't hear but the people that were closer I could hear so it kind of brought the levels to the noise levels to a more tolerable sort of level um so yeah it's really good really really good i think there's only one bad thing i have to say about them um and that is when i was out and about using the crossings the road crossings um you press the button and then you wait and it beeps to let you know to cross well with these in i couldn't hear the beep um and to be honest in a way that's a good thing because they were just doing their job you know because on the back of the box here it says noise reduction rating 15 decibels so anything above 15 decibels it will filter and it will turn the volume down on that um so i'm guessing the beeping of the crossings are above 15 decibels um so they did their job there which is a good thing but slightly unsafe um especially if you're someone who ha who like me has eyesight issues and struggles to see the green man and a lot of the crossings in my city don't have the little screen with the green man on it you just gotta stand and wait for the beep uh, <coughs> <coughs> so excuse me so yeah i will say that's the only bad thing and if you are using these out and about just be wary on the crossings with them maybe take them out for a few seconds while you're using the crossing um but yeah other than that they've been brilliant um if i were to give them a star rating of one to five one being totally awful and five being brilliant um i'd say probably five um Oh yeah, I haven't talked about the comfort of them either, have I? My brain is adult today. Um, basically, yeah, the comfort of them. It took a little bit of getting used to, used to for me at first because I don't like putting things in my ears, which is why I use the big overhead earphones when I'm listening to music. Um, I don't like... You know, it just feels weird and unnatural to me. So it took a little bit of getting used to. Um, but once I got used to wearing them, I forgot that they were there. Once they were in for a few minutes and that, throughout the night, I forgot that they were there, which is really good. Um, so, yeah very comfortable and they come with the different sizes as well um got all these little rubbery bits i don't know if you can see there all the little rubber bits so sort of just like music headphones music earphones really you just can change these rubber bits they've got the small medium and large um, and what you do is you just pull the rubber bit off. It's a little bit tricky to do. You just pull the rubber bit off. Oh, camera placement. And then just slide it back on, which is a little bit tricky and fiddly. But yeah, um, there we are. Um, so yeah, comfort is good. 
on them um, as well the visibility of them when I say visibility is when you have them in your ears um, they're hard to see no one's gonna see them unless they're actually looking for them um, <coughs> <coughs> so that they're, they're not super obvious that they're there um, so yeah that's another thing I like about them um, and I like this little case as well that they go in that comes with it, a little plastic case. Um, it's a tiny little case. And that I keep in my pocket of my trousers. Um, and then when I need them, I just get them out. So they're always on me. They're always handy, always ready to go. So I don't have to be wearing them 24 seven. Um, only when I've, I'm getting overwhelmed with the amount of noise that there is, I can just stick them in my ears and problem solved. Um, <coughs> you know, so again, five star rating from me, definitely. Um, the autistic community were right. Um, these are brilliant. So if you have an autistic friend or family member or a friend or family member that has sensory processing disorder, um, I know it's Christmas. <coughs> I know it's Christmas, Christmas Eve at the moment, but this would be a brilliant gift for your autism friends and family so yeah and you can get them on the website the vibes website which is www.discovervibes.com um, or you can go on Amazon uh, and they are on there you'll pay about £35 that's how much I paid for mine. Um, and yeah, they're about £35 for these. In a way, that's not too expensive. So, you know, some might say for the tiny little things, it's a bit steep. But for what they do for people with sensory issues, I'd say it's well worth it for the job they do. Um, but yeah, so I'm very pleased with these and I'm happy I did buy them. Um, so, oh, and I think I mentioned this in the unboxing video. Um, but when you buy some vibes, um, you, they donate some of the money or they yeah, they donate some money to um, the Hear, Hear the World charity with, or Hear the World Foundation, which, um, which funds hearing projects that provide hearing health care to children with hearing loss. So you're giving to charity as well when you buy a pair of vibes um which i think is really cool it's a really nice nice thing um and yeah it comes in a nice funky little box <coughs> um but yeah i'm super happy with those um so yeah, if you have autism or sensory processing disorder, definitely look into the vibes. They've, ve they've been very helpful for me. Um, I'm probably going to be using them tonight because I've been invited out uh, for the evening by one of my friends for a few drinks. Um, and yeah, there's going to be 
loud music um because it's like a heavy metal club we're going to um so it's gonna be quite a lot of loud heavy metal music <coughs> <coughs> so i think these may come in handy um and that so yeah but anyway i'm gonna stop camping on now um and i'm gonna go finish getting ready to go out um but yeah it's christmas eve today christmas day tomorrow can't wait for presents um and i can't wait for christmas dinner um hopefully i won't get a hangover in the morning from drinking tonight it's gonna be fun if i do cook cooking a full christmas dinner with all the trimmings while suffering with a hangover and chronic illness fatigue and flare-ups um that's gonna be a fun experience um <laughs> but anyway <laughs> um what i was gonna say is merry christmas happy holidays um and i will speak to you all later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.